Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. My name's Jason and what have we got for you today? We have got an Italian boat. It is the Cesar Oyster 35. Big thanks to uh, Origin Yachts and Richard for giving us access to this boat. It's a used boat, it's a 2005. Um, but what I like about this boat is that it's kind of got a slightly unexpected design. You know when you look at most boats you go, well I know exactly what's going to be the seating configuration, I know what's going to be like down below. I think this boat will surprise you. So let's get on board and I'll tell you a little bit more. Um, well first thing I'll tell you actually while we're around the stern here is about uh, the power. It's got uh, Volvo KAD 43s. Uh, they produce 260 horsepower each. I've been told on good authority it's the same engines they put into uh, fire engines. So it's good enough for a fire engine, it's good enough for a boat I reckon. That will make you feel reassured. Just here on the uh, port side you can see there's a little lazarette. Lift that up. Useful for brushes and hoses and all that stuff. And then on the right hand side here we've got our bathing uh, ladder that comes out from the bathing platform. Lift and drop. But let's get aboard. Oh, just before I do that, can I just show you on these covers? If you've got covers on your boat, you'll know what a fiddle of faff it normally is. You normally have to unzip both sides, roll it up, and then because things have got all salted up and shrunk with the sunshine, they're really difficult to roll up. This one has got this sort of curved design at the top, which means it's like a door. You can open it up and just lie it down the side there. I think that's a brilliant idea. I don't know if that was Cesar's idea or the person that's probably put the new covers on here, but I approve. Right, here we are on board. So first thing that strikes you is this lovely U-shaped seating area here with this cream upholstery, light coloured table, and that table will actually drop down and there's a recess underneath, just sit under the seats there, and then that will form a nice big double sun pad. Obviously with these covers off that's going to be bathed in sunshine, very nice. Uh, access the engines just down here. So you can get your essential checks done nice and easily and then we've got kind of a half step up to some additional seating in the helm but I'll just show you this but over here on the right hand side this sort of wet bar area so you've got a sink there but in here you've got a big old fridge or cool box which is great because you don't want to be going down below to get that cold can and then you've got your locker down here, which I think stows your gas bottle and a couple of other bits and pieces. Okay, so half step up here to your helm position. So single helm seat, Raymarine uh, display there, VHF down here, carling switches as usual. And yeah, actually this one has got front and rear bow thruster which is rather nice and then your traditional kind of analog dials here now the other thing that's a little bit unusual about this boat which is uh, nice is that you've got access out to the bow in the traditional way down here you've got the walkway either side but you have also got access out to the bow using these steps so that's something you would normally see, it's sort of popular on American boats, particularly smaller boats where they try to push the cockpit right out to the sides and therefore you get access up through the centre here, just flip that screen open and you're out there. But you don't normally see it on boats this kind of size. I think it's really good, particularly if you've got youngsters because it means they haven't got to go out and go by the rails and all that kind of stuff, just feels really really safe. And then on our port side here opposite the helm again you've got some more seating. So I think already you're getting the idea that it's a slightly different, slightly unconventional layout, but I think it works really, really well. But the interest and intrigue continues down below. Let's have a look. So welcome below. This is our staircase down. It's kind of, are they called asymmetric? Not sure. What I do like though, you got some storage down there. <laughs> I like clever ideas like that. Right, first of all, galley. Perhaps unexpectedly, galley is aft. Told you there's some differences down here. Unexpected. 
So we've got our microwave there, we've got our hob in under there. And being an Italian boat, of course, you've got to have a decent espresso machine, which this one's got. <laughs> Big uh, fridge underneath there, and then usual storage about the place for your cleaning products and all of that good stuff. So uh, all your electrics here, fuses and uh, isolators and so forth. And then let's swing around and show you this design. So just ahead of your uh, galley, you've got uh, your Donette. So seating there for uh, probably four or five people. This current boat's got some um, big screen there on an arm so that can swing out. That can come out like that and then turn around so you can sit here and watch TV, which is a nice idea. Storage behind that at eye level. And then Ford is your main sleeping area. So apologies for all of you getting a, there you go. Now that's a little nod to Nick Burnham, aquaholic. He always waves when he catches in the mirror, but he's better looking than me, so sorry about this. <laughs> but there you go, that's our, that's our sleeping area. Um, there's a curtain here that slides around, but it's a really useful, sort of really efficient use of space, if you like because it means that all this area, you've got great standing headroom, a couple little steps up into the bed, and then you've got storage over here. So not having kind of a bulkhead and a door really makes the most of this space, and I think it works really, really well. So if you're a couple or you've got kids, I don't think it's a problem that this is kind of opened. And what it does do, is make this area feel really, really large and really, really light. Color palette on this boat obviously helps. So let's swing around here. And this is our day heads. So, sorry again, another reflection, folks. You can see there's a door here, because what it is, it's a Jack and Jill. So that door leads us into our aft cabin. And then this door leads us back out into our main saloon, if that makes sense. Told you it was a little bit different, but a good sized bathroom, too many mirrors for my liking. <laughs> Don't want to catch sight of myself early in the morning or late at night. But it's a big bathroom, underlined by the fact that they're storing some of the bow cushions and infills in here. So shut that door, as Mr. Grayson used to say. And then in here, is our aft cabin so at the moment hanging on this door yeah some clothes but that is our door into that bathroom makes sense now brilliant and then if we step in and swing round this is our second double which some people may even use as the master because then you've got direct access to obviously the ensuite and it's a good size again the owners here have got a big TV which hinges out so you can watch that in bed but it's certainly a good size double I'd say it's an oversized double if anything and then I'm sat here on this nice little sofa at the end of the bed just pan around there a little bit more storage big hanging locker another mirror <laughs> but a porthole either side so a little bit different than a lot of the boats that we get on board but I think actually very clever. And you certainly get this feeling that it's a very, very social boat, both up in the cockpit and down below. Right, let's get back out in the sunshine. So there you go, the Cesar 35, an Italian boat with a little bit of a difference. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you have, give us a like, please give us some comments share, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. But most importantly, come back and watch some more content from the Marine Channel. Until then, take care, see you soon.